Hey there. I don't know about you, but when I was going through my A-levels and in fact, all stages of my academic career, I judged myself really harshly throughout that period. And I really validated against what my academic results were and what my grades were. It felt really, really important to me. It was something that I felt was going to be intrinsic to the rest of my life. It was a judgment about me and I really wanted to succeed and in fact overachieve. And for all those reasons and then knowing how I went on to suffer with my mental health and, and succumb to an eating disorder, it brings to mind the importance to me today to say there are a lot of people out there who, whether they are already suffering from an eating disorder and mental, mental health issue or might be vulnerable to it, this is going to be a really challenging time for those who get their results and feel they have been judged more harshly and just feel out of control and not knowing what to do about it. For all those reasons, I'm urging anybody that is at that stage in their journey and is already battling with an eating disorder or somebody who is a parent of somebody in that situation and knows that that person needs some extra help and support, please get them to get in touch with Wednesday's Child. This is not a time that we can allow people to struggle on their own with a mental health journey. And it's organisations like ours that are there just to remind people that they're not alone, that there is extra help and that actually they don't need to entirely validate themselves by their academic, academic successes. So um, this is just a bit of an appeal really to say if this is your situation or if it's for somebody in your family, we are here to provide some support, some befriending some professional expertise. Please reach out to us either via email or phone. Let us help you. Let's be part of your journey. Let's not let any young person suffer alone at what is a really vulnerable time. I hope that helps and I hope it can just help one person feel less alone today.